Okay, uh, this since it's Valentine's Day today, uh, I'm going to uh, do a tutorial in making like a card like this. Dedicating this to my wife. Uh, we've been married 10 years now and we've been celebrating Valentine's Day for 11 years now. So anyway, this is for Trisha. Her name is Trisha. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this first. Because this, this is the one we're doing. Okay, now we start to, to make a heart. So to make a heart, you just click on your bezier tool. Okay, and then you click, click, uh, and then click, 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 and close. Okay, to check if the object is closed, just put a fill on it. So that's fine. Let's just make it red. Okay, now, it doesn't look like a heart yet. But what we're going to do, we're going to do go to the shape tool, click on the segment here, the line, and then right mouse click, go to curve, there, and do it this way too, to curve, there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm doing the one side of the heart, okay, half of the heart. Now, if you notice, if I'm going to zoom in here. That's not really a curve. So what I'm going to do, I'll delete that node. So highlight the node and then delete. Now what I'm going to do, I can adjust now the shape of the heart. So I want to make it down a bit and then there. Oops. Okay. Now I've got that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one, okay? So you click on the object and then plus sign in your keyboard and then mirror. Here's the mirror icon and then move it to the left. You can do it with your arrow keys or you can drag it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to weld this. So you click on the first heart and then the second side of the heart and then weld. There you go. And then if you notice here, you've got some imperfection there. So you go to your shape tool and just delete this node here. There. And we go to this side of the... See if you see that one, that's another imperfection. So you click on the shape tool and just delete that node. Delete that node. And then click on the, uh, the line and then make it to line. Convert to line. Same with this one, to line. Okay, let's go back to our heart. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the outline. I click on the outline tool and then remove outline. So what I'm gonna do now, I, now I can reshape my heart. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to plus sign again, in your keyboard, and then make the heart smaller. So I've got two hearts now, and make it white. Okay. Or actually, I'll make it pink. Okay. Now here, go back to your shape tool. Because this one, we're going to edit this a bit. So you're going to move this going to the left side. Okay. Because that's the highlight of the heart. So that's what we're doing. So I'll move it somewhere here and move it down. Okay. Now we're ready to do blend. So click on the smaller object and then the bigger one which is the heart and they go to FX and then blend now you blend here you got number of steps the higher the number of steps the the smoother I'll go 60 here and then click on apply there okay now with this one with the smaller half of the heart you can adjust it the way you want it okay Say I'm happy with that. Okay. Now another thing, I'm going to make a highlight here. So to make a highlight there, I'm going first of all, okay, I'm gonna close this one. So first of all, I'm going to I'm going to duplicate this heart. Okay, so plus sign again. Okay, I do plus sign and then move it over to the left side. Okay, so I've got that heart now. I'll make that white. 
and I'll move it to top of the heart so I go arrange order to front of the page and I'll make the heart smaller and put it somewhere here in the edge so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do transparency I'm gonna click on it might interact transparency tool the wine glass icon and then I click and drag it just to make a glossy effect there and I can just adjust it okay now to view the whole picture that looks good okay now I'm going to type in our names here so I'll type in Trisha we, we, we typed in Trisha and you can always change the font if you want you know by clicking on the say you want that one but for me I prefer this one just to make it artistic now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fit this text onto this path here which is the heart so you go to text and you go to uh, fit text to path and then you go close to the the bigger heart there and if you go up and then you get the distance from the heart itself okay so I'm happy with that okay you can always change the size of it of the text if you go to click on the text and you go to text and then character formatting and then you go you know increase this one here here yeah so that's how you change it okay so the next thing I'll do I'm going to do square here for my background okay then I'm going to plus sign again your keyboard to duplicate without offset and move one circle there and I'm gonna make it uh, like uh, let's try this one that blue and then I'll put it to back to so go over uh, arrange order to back of page and same thing with this one I'll make it pink yeah I'll just make it pink okay and again arrange order to back of page okay now I'll just remove the O's outline remove outline and remove this outline too okay now I'm gonna make the color subtle so I'm going to click on the pink one and go to my transparency tool interact with the wine glass and I make it very subtle okay now I'm gonna do it with the blue too here now let's make it going this side Okay, now let's see the whole picture. Okay, now the only thing I have to do here is to make drop shadow here. But before doing that, okay, I click on this, you know, the big heart, and I go to arrange, break text apart. Okay, so that I can grab this the the heart and the go drop shadow. There and move it. Go this way. Okay, so so now I'll break the drop shadow again. Click click on the drop shadow and go to arrange, and then break compound object of four elements apart. So those are the drop shadows. So if I move the drop shadows, now it's separated. So I'm going to duplicate the drop shadow. So you click on your your plus sign again, and then I can make this smaller. Here, I can just make it in this way. okay then I'll just make that a bitmap so you go bitmap convert to bitmap and make sure transparent background is click on 150 dpi is fine and then click OK then I'll make that transparent by clicking on the trans wine glass effect again icon and then I'll make that transparent uniform So, and that's it. So, I'm just going to edit this a little bit. There. There you go.